ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي شهر رمضان الذي انزل فيه القران هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليسم ومن كان مريضا او على سفر فعده من ايام اخرى يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتك ولتكملوا العده ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون dear brothers and sisters assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh we begin by praising allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending salutation to rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam i would like to welcome you all to the international webinar on importance of observing international quran understanding organized by World Muslim Heritage Research Center of USA. I just recited verse 185 of Surah Al-Baqarah where Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala said it was in the month of Ramadan that the Quran was revealed as a guidance for mankind which is clear message giving guidance and distinguishing between right and wrong. So any of one who is present in that month should fast and anyone who is ill or not at a journey should make up for the lost days by fasting on another day later. Allah wants ease for you not hardship. He wants you to complete the prescribed period and to glorify him for having guided you so that you may be thankful. and we are always thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we want to start this session with the welcome speech and i would like to ask brother Khalid Yahya who is a phd researcher at university of bolton uk and also the secretary of world muslim heritage research center usa with his welcome address brother khalid Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful honorable chair of this webinar respected chief guest distinguished guests beloved moderator and knowledgeable audience and viewers who are joining us from different parts of the globe assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah peace be upon all of you i welcome all of you once again on behalf of world muslim heritage research center usa Our center deals with the contemporary issues where the interests of the Muslims are vested. In recent past we have dealt with several issues for example the issue of Turkey the very important long heritage of Hagia Sophia and we also focus on the South Asian context and we have dealt with the long running program of Kashmir issue we also dealt with the issue of myanmar the rohingya crisis and also we have focus on the long running crisis in the middle east that is palestinian issue and so on so in recent past we have researched and we got that the holy quran is the best blessing from almighty allah to the human kind but very unfortunately our research show that a large number of the muslim people they are used to read the holy quran with only the intention of achieving reward or thawab but the main intention behind revealing the holy quran was to receive the guidance and be reflected in the human nature in the human life that is why world muslim heritage research center usa declared the first ramadan as the international day of quran understanding day the reason behind this declaration is normally the muslim people when quran, when the holy month of ramadan came they are used to read the holy quran more that is a positive thing 
and they also try to make a very closer relation with the Holy Quran, especially in the month of Ramadan. But the main intention of the of revealing the Holy Quran was to make a closer relation and at the same time to understand what the people are reading from the Holy Quran. That is why we have initiated this novel cause and we have did so many things on the occasion of this day. Uh, we organized seminars, symposiums on different languages on the occasion of this day. And at the same time, we distributed Quran, the Holy Quran into different peoples, different races, different colors, different religions in different languages. And we also uh, send letters to different organizations of the world to observe this day with higher importance. With this uh, notion, we have organized uh, today's webinar and we are very fortunate that we have with us a number of renowned scholars and numerous figures from different parts of the globe. So once again, I want to welcome all of our guests to this international webinar. Dear viewers and honorable audience, the second point I want to mention in very short that we know there are five important rights to the to Quran from the people. The first right is believe in the Quran. Not only believe that Quran is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rather, this is the only book that shows the guidance, the all sort of guidance for the humanity. That belief we should have as a Muslim. That is the first important right to the Quran. The second thing that is, we have to have the capacity to read the Holy Quran with, with, with proper pronunciation. That is called, and the word is mentioned in the Holy Quran, tartil, perfection. The third stage that is to understand the Quran. These two points are very important. A number of Muslim peoples in the world, they are in stage number two. Definitely, they do read the Holy Quran uh, with dedication, with their feelings. That is very good. Quran is such a book that if anyone reads the Quran, he will get some reward. That is the positive things of the Quran and only one, one book that is uh, that, that have this sort of uh, very unique capacity. But our target is, our focus is, we are trying to uh, give the message that the people who are in stage two, we are trying to for, give them forward or uh, encouraging them as they can go from two to three number stage as they can realize, they can understand what they are reading from the Holy Quran. And the num number four duty, that is uh, to understand the Quran deeply and at the same time uh, to uh, preach the Quran to the other people. And number five is the, the, the guidance, the teachings of the Quran should be reflected into our personal life, into our family life, into our social life, into our national life, and at the same time, into our international life that should be reflected that is number five so respected brothers and viewers we are trying to deal with these important issues that is why our message on that day was to uh, read the quran know the quran follow the quran teach the quran preach the quran and the last message was be a witness of the holy quran number third point i want to mention in this regard uh, we are to YC and Arab leagues and some other international organizations to observe and to declare the first Ramadan as the day of international Quran understanding day in their own ways. Definitely after some days later, uh, we will officially uh, contact with the organizations and we will send later to them as they can consider our uh, declaration with higher importance. Uh, this day is not the day that Quran was revealed. This is not the day that is Quran day. Rather, the first Ramadan could be a starting point that throughout the Ramadan, people can read the Quran at least with understanding in their own languages. And this practice should go in other 11 months. That is our humble notion. And uh, the guests who are attending today from different parts of the globe, once again, I want to welcome all of them and give thanks from our organization. Uh, with these remarks, I want to conclude my welcome address. Uh, thank you very much once again, patients. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Jazakallah khairan, Brother Khalid Yahya. Uh, you very uh, perfectly pointed out the rights of uh, Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that in Surah Baqarah, verse 121, Allah said, 
الذين آتيناهم الكتاب يتلونه حق تلاوته أولئك يؤمنون به الله سبحانه وتعالى said those to whom we have given the script the book which is Quran they follow the Quran like it deserves fulfilling the right of the Quran and they are the one who are the true believers of the book and those who deny it are the great loser. Uh, Jazakallah khairan for your great message.